Hey everybody, this video starts a new periodic series I'm going to be doing called Buried Treasure. And what this is, is just a way to highlight functions and operators in Power BI that you may not have come across before, may have been buried in the menus, or that you may have seen, but not really known what they did. And so I wanted to take some time today to highlight two that are in the standard operators within Power Query, and they're integer divide and modulo. And they're incredibly useful for different types of data transformations. And so let's just take a minute and take a look at what they what they mean before we get into how to use them. So basically what these are is just kind of the the mirror image of each other in long division. So if we look at a simple division problem, 14 divided by 3, that we take 14 divided by 3 goes in four times, that is the integer divide. That's, that's the, the whole portion of the result, and the modulo is the remainder. So you may be wondering, kind of, you know, thinking, I've been doing this since elementary school. I didn't call it that, but um, why is that so useful? And the answer is that you can use modulo and integer divide to create different types of repeating patterns. And in those repeating patterns, you can, you can do some really powerful transformations. So let's take a look. In this case, we've got a really, a really simple data set, which is just 24 participants in a training course we have. And we want to take these 24 participants and divide them into four equal teams of six. And so we can use integer, divide, and modulo to do that in different ways. And let's, let's start with modulo. And basically what we want to do is let's first add an index column. And then on that index column, let's go and operate with modulo. Let's add column and modulo. And what we want to do here in Modulo is enter the number of groups that we want to create. So four groups. And you'll see what this does is it creates a repeating pattern of 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And the way it does that is if we, we start here with looking at, looking at 4 on the index, which is actually the fifth row because Power Query is zero-based index. So if we divide 4 by 4, it's... It, it's an integer divide of 1, a modulo of 0, remainder. If we divide it by 4 into 5, remainder of 1, remainder of 2, and then 3. And then we get to 8, and it goes in twice with a remainder of 0. And so it creates this repeating pattern all the way down the, to the bottom of the data set. And so what we can now do is, if you remember, when we transform data, unpivoting is transforming columns into rows, and pivoting is transforming rows into columns. So what we want to do is we want to take these rows from modulo and translate those into columns. So we're going to pivot the data on modulo. And if we go to transform and pivot, we can now, we want to pivot on first name, but what we want to do is make sure that it's not aggregating. We don't want it to count or anything. We just wanted to pivot the actual, the actual values. And so what we see here is a little messy, but it'll, it'll clean up nicely in a minute. So if we take these four headers and we do a fill down, then that starts looking a little better. And now we can take and just filter the nulls out. And we can take now and filter the duplicates out. And we're left with our nice four teams of six. And now let's look at actually how Modulo divided the data up. So if we go, if we go back to our raw data, what we can see is that what Modulo did is it did kind of like what you used to do in gym class, where it counted off by four. So one, two, three, four, with these four in different teams. Then Timothy, 
back on, on team number one with Shirley. And if we go to the process team data, that's how it looks. It's, it's counting off by fours. And so what we can do is we can also do a different way of dividing these teams up, where instead of counting off and dividing teams that way, we can just count off the first six. And if we go here, count off the first six, and that's that's one team, the second six is the second team, and so forth. And as you might have guessed, the way we're going to do this is with integer divide. And it, it follows much the same logic. It's a slightly different pattern. So let's let's start off and we'll go we'll go in here to add columns and create our index. And then from that we're going to take and um, go to standard and integer divide. And in this case, instead of what we wanted to do with modulo, which was the number of groups, what we want to do with integer divide is the number of people per group. So we'll enter six, and we get exactly what we'd hoped, which is the four groups of, of six. And so now is where the difference in the pattern comes in a little bit. What we want to do is we want to take this index column now and transform that into a modulo matching the integer divide. And so if we go here and go to modulo, and then what we want to do is we want to make this the, the modulo to match the integer divide. And we'll see how that works out when we we pivot in a minute. So if we go six, so now what this does is this creates the repeating pattern that now matches the count of the integer divide. So it's it's the number of observ it's the numbered observation within each of the the integer divide groups. And now if we take this and transform by pivoting this in the same way by going to advanced options and making sure that we don't aggregate the data. And this one looks a little different from the last. We have to clean it up in a little bit different way. But it, it actually cleans up with a very simple transpose. And if you remember, transpose just takes columns, or turns them into rows, and vice versa. And so if we take this data and transpose it, and now go to our headers, and just use first row as headers. We've now got exactly the teams we had, we've been looking for. One through six, one through six, one through six, and one through six. We can take a look at the raw data here. So we want to see Shirley through Janet, and that's exactly what we see. Shirley through Janet and then Martin through Joyce, and so forth. And so that's two different ways that we can use modulo and integer divide to transform our data. And you'll find that this, um, these techniques are really useful in a lot of different transformational patterns. So in terms of stack data and paired data, that you can use these to unwind those um, those configurations in ways very similar to what we've done here today. So I hope you found that helpful. Maybe you found some buried treasure in Power BI that you can use in your own work. And we'll be back in the new year with hopefully some new ones that you haven't seen before. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.